two positive economic reports about Nigeria hit the news wire in the last 24 hours. First, the October edition of World Economic Outlook, published by International Monetary Fund, says Nigeria is Africa's largest economy at 415 billion US dollars by the size of its gross domestic product. The report places South Africa a distant second at 280.3 billion US dollars. In the third place was Algeria at 163.3 billion US dollars, as no data was available for Egypt. The second news was from Fitch Ratings. The agency focused Nigeria's economic growth at 2.6% in 2017. Fitch believes the domestic economy will bounce back next year, but with downside risk if dollar liquidity persists. The new IMF report that ranks Nigeria's GDP size above South Africa will be a bit surprising considering the present recession the country faces. Two months ago, the South African economy reportedly outpaces Nigeria as the Naira falls drastically and the South African rand climbs against the U.S. dollar. That ranking was decried by Nigerian-born Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote. Well, I was listening to the news saying that Nigeria has actually been displaced by South Africa to be number one in Africa in terms of economy, size of economy. Personally, Your Excellency, I don't believe in those numbers. It was something that was done just to embarrass us, but we don't give up. The latest GDP ranking and outlook on 2017 growth seems to confirm the optimism of members of President Buhari's administration that the economy is on the path to recovery in 2017. In particular, the finance minister, Mrs. Kemia Deoshin, had indicated that the ongoing fiscal spending and retooling government spending will yield positive reports in the medium term. Well, the message is that Nigeria is getting out of the trouble that it's been in and we're turning things around. And I think everybody is united. Everybody that was here today represented the 36 states of Nigeria. And this, this recovery will be driven from the states, from the local governments. It's, it's people starting businesses, companies opening up. There are no federal people. Everybody lives in a state. So having everybody together, working in the same direction is very important. Despite its many present challenges, the Nigerian economy may actually be going through some hard times, looking to emerge stronger, bigger and better. Temple Ashaju, Channel Television News.